So what's up? Today I'm going to raid Kingdom again, this time in chapter 459. So here we are on the first page, and as we remember from the last chapter, Kisui appeared and boosted the morale of the Zhao forces. His presence lights a fire within the soldiers' eyes and within their blood. Contagious fighting spirit is the chapter's name. A dude gets a spear right between his eyes. Crazy. It seems to be a short chapter, only 17 pages. But you know how it is with Kingdom, it always delivers. So now the Zhao forces are having the upper hand. <laughs> Wait, and then something happens. Someone slashes around like a crazy motherfucker. And who's that? Not a single step further. Zhao children. Kanki army. Kaku Un. 1000 man commander. A beast has appeared. It's the Masters of Defense, the immovable Kakuun unit, with this wall of steel. I will regain control and become the hero of today's battle. Tonight will be the night the beautiful Kokuo graces my tent. And someone comes towards them, from the mountains. The left enemies on our left flank. Who the fuck is that? They just slashed through that immovable wall, or whatever that was called. And he got killed. Kakun got killed by Kisui. He cut his head off. Kakun's boys are getting torn up. Hang on, did he just get taken out? And that woman's getting surprised. And they're coming from the cliffs again. They need to get out of here. Sound a complete retreat. We need to regroup our forces. It truly was. What was originally an overwhelming dominance by the king was reversed in a turnaround that took place in the blink of an eye. Kisui's appearance and Kokuo's subsequent withdrawal led to Kisui's forces being able to gain supremacy over the battlefield and push back the king lines instead. The one silver lining for the king was... What was it? Thanks to Kokuo's quick reactions, they were able to limit the number of casualties, all due to her having realized the existence of a second formidable foe, foe in Kisui. Yeah, she's smart. And here we see Keisha, watching over the battlefield, I suppose. So the second day of battle has ended. So it's the first time Ensign has been the MVP of a battle. They're waiting for orders from General Kanki, and Kyoke still hasn't come back. We questioned some of the enemy soldiers with the prisoner, but it doesn't sound like they managed to catch her. So they're getting a bit worried about Kyoke. And here she is. Is she dead? No. She's still breathing. And that's the end of the chapter. A short chapter, but very action-packed. So the battle is evened out, and now we finally see where Kyoka is. She's in that village she discovered before and hopefully they'll help her and the Asian unit will find her. I think it was a decent chapter. A 6 out of 10, maybe a 7 out of 10. You know, nothing crazy happened, but it was still very enjoyable. Because, as you already know, I love this manga. It's currently one of my favorites, if not my favorite. But anyway, that's everything for this time. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Have a nice day. Bye.